Jared Poland, fro knows photo dot com photo of the week time so i spent some time up in new york city had an engagement session up there for a bride and groom uh to be next year sometime next year i have the date down so guys don't you worry about that chris and sarah i have that written down at least in 14 different places so i will be there uh so they asked me to come up to new york city to do their engagement session as they live in the city uh we set it up to go to the high line which for those of you who do not know, which I was one person who did not know, is that there was this elevated train system that was up there in New York, and they shut it down, so instead of ripping it out, they actually turned it into a park. Uh, So the the tracks are still there in some parts, but they they added some trees and flowers and walkways and paths, and it's right on the the Hudson, so you you can see across in New Jersey. Uh, You can obviously see the Empire State Building from where we were right here. Now, the only thing was it was raining. It was really overcast, and actually it was raining. You can see that the raindrops were falling. Um, So we were under an overhang, still on the high line, and needed to shoot because we didn't know if the rain was going to stop. It eventually did stop, and we did get some other cool photos, but for the photo of the week type of stuff, I just want to show you... What was going through my mind? I mean, I selected this photo out of the the hundred or so that we took just because, you know, I didn't make the Empire State Building the main focus of this image. The focus of the image is their embrace. You know, it didn't matter if it was raining. It didn't matter if there were clouds in the sky raining on the parade. You can see that the love is there between the two of them. They just, you know, they were embracing in the rain almost like it wasn't even happening. And it just made for a good image. Uh, I still left in the railings down here you can see that the railing is here from the high line you have the buildings blowing out in the background and further off in the distance in the background you have the empire state building now we may be losing a little bit of light up here up here or you may be drawn up to that area because it's very bright but we're going to do some things with this photo to make it you know blau b-l-a-o-w is blau i think um but yeah we're gonna make it go boom and make it good so Let's go over these settings. 1 3 20th of a second, f 2.8, ISO 2000, 165 millimeters on the 70 to 200 version 2. We were shooting, or I was shooting the Nikon D3S. You know, I needed to bump my shutter speed. That's why I was at 2,000th of a second. Uh, I was a stop off, you know. I'm usually a stop off, whatever. It happens. Because uh, I like capturing this. I like getting what I need to get and then making my corrections later in terms of exposure still it's 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 composed the way that i wanted it i wanted them in the bottom i wanted the empire state building up top but i didn't want it to be the staple you know i wanted it to be there you know not just slamming you in the face going hey it's the empire state building there it is it's right there and forget about these two right here it was all about them but that was the background so this is like do i do black and white or do i do color i was playing with this a little earlier and then you know i started off with black and white so Let's go. Let's do the black and white. There. That's what I do. Contrast, you know I do that. And then here you can see that my exposure is off, but I'm going to do a couple I'm going to do a few things with this. Um make my blacks 10ish maybe a little more. How's that sound? I like that. Not going to go too high on the clarity because I want it to be a little soft, so I'm just going to leave it I'll go negative on that just for a little bit. It gives it a little a little bit of softness. You can see right in here, I like what it's looking like. You can see how they're sharp. And here, here's the thing. I was using VR on my 70 to 200. It really helps keep certain things stable when you're zoomed out further. But I say that in the Pro 70 to 200 2.8 range. When you're using the lower end, the 55 to 200s with the VR, it's, it's not the same thing. You know, I use the VR on the higher end lenses to keep me, you know, to give me some extra steadiness um now the same thing's going to happen in the lower end lenses but it's just i think the the, the vr is much better in the higher end glass now what happened here we're, we're kind of losing the empire state building up here it's almost gone but we have this gradient tool that we see that greg works with quite often and you know i've never used it myself but no, i don't like where i put that let's let's uh, get rid of that and let's see if i can do it right here wow so here we go we just painted that in there. Uh, now we can see what's happening. The cloud saturation's not going to do anything because there's no color. Contrast is just going to, well, yeah, you know, 
I don't mind that it's raining. Some people be like, oh, it's raining. You're, you know, there's a cloud over their head. Look at them. They're in love. Does it matter if it's raining or not raining or, or anything like that? So I really like what's going on here. I liked that, you know, the Empire State Building's still there, but the focus is on them. So let's go back to how this was, you know. Here we go. Let's reset it and see where it started. So that's where it started in, in color. And this is where it was in black and white. And I'm really happy with that. I really like the way this looks. Their embrace is very nice. You know, I just, yeah, I'm going to pull it back a little bit. Playing with these temperatures. I like that. So then I was like, oh, maybe I should do color. So what do I do for the color? Let's see. Contrast. I like doing that. Again, with my exposure. Kind of do the same thing. Let's uh, 1.25 is what I had on the black and white. So there's that. Blacks. Watch what's happening. You see what's happening? Boom. You see how, how they're coming into effect? Let's make it 13 because that's a little too saturated. That's nice and sweet. Look at this. I'm liking the color, and I want it to be a little warmer because, you know, it was, a, it was a humid day out in October, which is weird. So here we go. I add a little bit of yellow. makes it a little warm, and I like that. So clarity, same thing. And then, you know, let's do this tool again. And see what we get now it's in color and it's and it's pretty damn cool you know I, you know i like what's going on here too saturated the sky wouldn't be that blue if it was raining so don't overdo it i'm just gonna pull back slightly well no i like it right there contrast i like that look at that well, let's pull it back a little bit i want it to fade away a little so usually i bump my contrast up but i don't know i'm liking the way that it feels less contrasty in this in this case and there you have what it looks like in color um, you know, I think I feel strongly for the color, but look at the rain. We're freezing the rain. The rain is there. They're loving each other. There's the black and white. There's the color. There's the black and white. There's the color. There you go. You have those two images for the photo of the week. I, they work well in both. I think I like the color right now, but maybe I'll like the black and white another time. So who knows? So that that's something different for me, adding that gradation into the sky, but I wanted to bring out the Empire State Building, but still not make it the focal point. I, I still go right to them. They are the sharpest and in-focus area. So I'm drawn into them, and then your eye goes up to the Empire State Building. You have the rain. You have all of that. And this print, if it was printed really large, would look really freaking awesome on the wall or wherever you want it. Uh, it looking at it on the screen doesn't do it justice. Even an 8x12 would still look pretty cool in my mind. So there you have it. That is the photo of the week, and I really like this image. So I did it in black and white and color. You know what? Let me go back to the black and white. I want it a little brighter. There we go. There we go. And that's about it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.